archives of Prasar Bharti presents the timeless treasure of golden era. नृत्य जो हमारे देश के सांस्कृतिक धरोहर हैं एक पीढ़ी जिन्हें दूसरी पीढ़ी को सौंपती चली आ रही है न जाने कब से आइए अब पूर्व में चलें मणिपुर के यह हैं पोंग चालम और रास नर्तक पोंग चालम मणिपुर के ढोलकिया नर्तकों का एक विशेष नृतिक है पुरुष नर्तक मृदंग बजाते हुए तांडव यानी कहा जा सकता है कि नृत्य का जो पौरुष पक्ष होता है शौर्य वाला उसका प्रतिनिधित्व करते हैं और रास भगवान कृष्ण के काल जमाने की याद दिलाता है जब वो गोपियों के साथ रास रचाते थे मणिपुर का रास अपनी विशेषता रखता है
यह है मणिपुर के नर्तक लोक गीतों और नृत्य संगीत के ध्वनियों से जवाहरलाल नेहरू स्टेडियम प्रतिध्वनित हो रहा है जहां आपसे कुछ देर पहले राष्ट्रपति श्री जैल सिंह ने नवे एशियाई खेलों का उद्घाटन किया नृत्य की मस्ती उन्मुक्तता और उन्मादकता यहां हर मन को भाव विघोर कर रही है जब क्या ये अब विविधता में एकता की एक और झलक देखें पूर्व में मेघालय से और पश्चिम में गोवा से मेघालय का ये बहुरंगी नृत्य वहां के फसल उत्सव की झलक दर्शाता है जब किसान की खुशियां उसके नृत्य की झनकार और गीत के बोलों से फूट पड़ती है मेघालय के इस फसल उत्सव नृत्य में गोवा के एक सजीव आनोत्सव का समावेश किया गया है दो नगर रूप आपको इसमें देखने में मिलेगा इसकी शैली और संगीत पुर्तगाली प्रभाव से प्रेरित हैं। और मेघालय के साथ साथ ये गोवा का कार्निवाल उत्सव जो कि वहाँ हर फरी फरवरी में आयोजित होता है वार्षिकोत्सव हंसी खुशी के साथ किस प्रकार वहाँ के लोग हर्षोल्लास प्रकट करते हैं वो इस नृत्य में दर्शाया गया है मेघालय पूर्व गोवा पश्चिम और दोनों का एक एक नृत्य एक साथ उनका समावेश यहाँ नेहरू स्टेडियम के इस मैदान पर हंसी खुशी को जीवंत करने वाला जिंदा जावेद रूप प्रस्तुत करने वाला
संध्या धीरे धीरे धरती पर उतर रही है और उसके साथ ही नृत्य संगीत का यह अनूठा समा भी जैसे अपनी ऊंचाइयों को छूता जा रहा है आगे का नृत्य मध्य प्रदेश से विवरण शुरुजित से formed by young men wearing a headdress made on the horns of the bison. It's after a successful kill of the bison does this dance takes place. This entire dance watched the rhythmic movement of the feet. These young women who just walked in on the arena now on your screen. Perfect unison, perfect rhythm. An example to any model on how to carry themselves. The music is haunting, rhythmic, and simple. The feathers that you notice that the men are wearing are made from are the feathers of the bird of paradise. Each feather costs about thirty rupees. General said the other day, "These young women are an example to any soldier. Perfect movement, perfect unison, perfectly measured."
your tribals are the Vasis of Pasta, rich in heritage, the strength of India as they go off the stage at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium where they performed at the center of the arena. Next to come on to this arena are these school children, boys and girls of Delhi. This is a choreographed dance. It's known as the umbrella dance, the Chatra Chaya dance. Set to music specially composed by the well-renowned musician Pandit Ravi Shankar, the umbrella dance.
Chatracha dance performed by the school children of Delhi. And now it's the Lambadis. Lambadis are also known as the Banjaras, and they are the gypsies of India. They are now settled in Andhra Pradesh, and their life is full of simplicity and innocence. And this, you will notice, is brought out in the dances they perform. The costumes that they wear, very fascinating. The jewellery sort of hits the eye. For 30 of these Labadis were sent to Tiruchi where they were specially trained. And here now they here they are performing right before you. the Banjaras, the gypsies who had settled in Andhra Pradesh hundreds of years ago. Next to come onto the stage are the, tri the tribals from Mizoram and they perform the Chibu. It's also known as the bamboo dance. 
This dance used to be performed with a wish for a safe passage and a grand entry for a miser hero into heaven. It's rhythmic, exotic, and is performed by young girls wearing costumes which they themselves have spun and woven. Incidentally, this dance is also performed or is prevalent in the Philippines and some other parts of Southeast Asia. Bamboo dance. As they now move off the stage. Perfect understanding between those who move the bamboo and the women as they move between the bamboos. Difficult, intricate, perfect understanding, however, between the two. 
And the next dance is going to be the holy dance from Uttar Pradesh. And before the dancers come on the stage, it's over to the Vinda Saxena. Holy may be come second char may never give him. Came to Uttar Pradesh to the Uli gave last me Randi Ranguka was sent to you, sub Uli Manati, Rangarangi Gulalati, Uttar Pradesh ki Mandli. मनोरम दृश्य उपस्थित करेगी ग्रीष्म ऋतु की नई फसल के आगमन पर नाचा जाने वाला यह नृत्य शास्त्रीय कथक शैली पर आधारित है
होली के इस रंगारंग डांस के बाद अब पश्चिम बंगाल का नवान्न नृत्य प्रस्तुत हो रहा है जिसके बारे में आपको इंद्रजीत सरदार बताएंगे And this is a dance to herald the harvest season of prosperity and abundance. Nobando, the dance from West Bengal. It's an invocation to the season, as well as a celebration of the fertility of Mother Earth. And other dancers will be coming in. separate the grain from the impurities. the Novanno dance from West Bengal, the land of music and dance. An incredible pageantry of color and joy. It is not only that the dancers are performing various items, but it is also that they're doing it with such a lot of enthusiasm and joy and happiness. The Kumar dance from Haryana. 
This is popular in the areas of border Rajasthan and is performed on various festivals like Holi and Tej. And when these skirts are whirled around, they look like so many gay butterflies fluttering on the ground. As the Kumar dancers from Haryana go off, it's time now for one of the liveliest dancers, of the, Bhangra, the Bhangra from Punjab. We will soon be welcoming the and to tell you about it, Shurajit Sen. The much loved mascot of all the Bhangra dancers game. come he will be very much in our hearts onto the stage. All, the games, all these dancers that you've been seeing express the joy, the piety, the happiness, the carefree attitude of all these folk dancers and for the people of India.